Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the 31 Days of Halloween where I post a new tutorial every day in October. For today's tutorial, I was inspired by Lexa from the show The 100. I love this show and she's a badass, so that's why we're doing her today. So I started off by using my Essence 2-in-1 Coal Liner to kind of put that all over my lid and then decided that I didn't want to do that yet. So I'm going in with a foundation that's a little bit darker than my skin and putting it all over my face and my neck to kind of like tan me up a little bit. Like this girl lives outside and she's probably tan. So, and then I'm just setting it a little tiny bit in my T-zone. If you're going out with this look on, I would definitely recommend setting it just in the places that you might get oily just so that you don't look like you're slipping and sliding all around. Then just setting my neck too. Then I am taking a bronzer and going all over my face, kind of kind of sloppily, just to tan me up, bronze me up, make it look like maybe I live outside in the forest. Looking good, good, good. And then I'm just going in and contouring just a little bit to give uh, my face a little bit of dimension. This is not that necessary. I just like to do it to kind of give it the full effect. Definitely on my nose too. It sticks off your face. Then I'm taking this paper towel and some brown body paint and just kind of stippling this all over my face and my neck. I want to look real dirty, kind of like I was just in battle, but still like really pretty. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going all over with this. Then just taking a black body paint and going over the top with that one just to darken things up. Now going back in with my 2-in-1 coal liner and really, really messily going all over my lid and kind of bringing it underneath my eye, then lining my waterline. Now I am taking a little bit of my black body paint and going up. I know they're a little uneven right now. I fix it, I promise. And then I am pulling it down. Actually, I take it back. This is my Make It Forever flash palette, the black color, and I'm taking it and pulling it down my face. This flash palette, all the colors in the flash palette are a little bit hard to set, which is perfect for this look because it always looks kind of wet and just freshly done, if that makes any sense. So I'm just really kind of steadily pulling it down my face. I want it to look really gradual. This is where I fix the fact that they were both uneven because you can't have that. Also took it off my nose because decided didn't like that either. So there we go. Back to pulling it down my face. I want it to fade from kind of darkest at the top to lightest at the bottom. Then just blending out underneath my eyes and pulling that down as well. Now I'm making kind of like the drips as if I were sweating and this kind of all came down. So these drips, you want to make them a little bit kind of sporadic and like they fell down your face um, and making them darker at the top and lighter towards the bottom. And then just fill them in. You can do as many little drips or whatever as you want. Now I am going in the inner part of my eye and adding some more black to darken things up just a bit more. And then darkening things up at the top of each of those drips or whatever you want to call them. Now I'm starting on her little tiny thing she wears in between her head. I honestly have no idea what to call it, so if you guys know what it's called, go ahead and let me know below. But basically I'm just trying to mimic this, sorry, terrible quality picture, but that is what I'm mimicking. Um, I go in and try and create all these little details. It's almost like a flower, like a five little five circle, 
flower I'm not sure but I kind of end up going over all of it with gold paint anyway so I would say just kind of create a circle with maybe some petals and like do it in the small and small and then make it bigger and bigger god I, I don't think I'm making any sense maybe just watch <laughs> And now here I'm going in with the gold color from my Make It Forever Flash Palette and as you can see it kind of makes it metallic and looks like it might be like standing up. So it does cover some of the details that I drew but it actually kind of makes it look like a thing instead of a drawing if that makes any sense. Now I am just going on my lips with my NYX Gel Lipstick in Nude Beach. I know she's not wearing lipstick in the show, but she does have pinky lips and I don't. So I'm just adding a little bit of that and then taking a paper towel and kind of getting rid of the shine. So I just kind of am left with the color. Now I have my costume on and my hair done, so well bam um, I'm just taking some fake blood. This is from Mehron and it coagulates so I didn't want to put too much of it on and basically what that means is like if you put a bunch of this on it will all run together it looks really really cool but I just wanted to, to look like kind of blood splattered and maybe it ran to my face and so just kind of feathering this on very very lightly Also, I'm just going ahead and putting some of it on my neck to kind of even everything out. You don't want just blood on your face, you gotta have it on your neck too, duh. Then just taking a paper towel and kind of just smudging all that blood out. I didn't want it to look so like intense, so I'm just kind of smudging it, off, smudging it all out. And then also going back in with a little bit of brown body paint to dirty myself up a little bit more and to kind of blend the blood and the dirt. And that's it guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see the rest of the 31 days of Halloween. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.